Hello, I'm so excited to be here. I'm going to give it a few minutes for people to join. Turn off my sound so we don't get weird feedback. My goodness. Well, clearly I need to put my dogs away. So that didn't happen. Okay, dogs are now locked up and put away <laughs> in the bedroom. You might still be able to hear them in the background, but we are going to do a fun catalog stroll today. I'm so excited. And I have a fun giveaway. All right, so um, in the chat bar, you can chat on the side of the screen if you want to, if you are on a computer. If you're on a device like an iPhone or an iPad, you won't be able to chat in. So I just want to let you know that some people end up emailing me and saying, hey, why can't I chat? And that's why. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad or some other device, you won't be able to chat in. So. Hey, Carrie Joy. So if you are on here and you're able to chat in, please chat in and say hello. We would love for you to say hello and where you're visiting from, hanging out from. Um, you might want to grab a cup of coffee or tea. I've got my coffee here. I'm sporting my Rosie the Riveter cup today. I love Rosie. So I got my coffee ready to go. It is very rainy and stormy here in Northern California today. Um, we have almost gotten an inch of rain. My nerdy uh, husband, who loves weather, just texted me from work and said, look at my new weather station and let me know how much rain we've gotten. So I texted him back and I said, 0 0.87 inches. That's how much. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, hello from England. Yay. Kidderminster. Kidderminster. I think I'm saying that correctly. Hi, Della from England. Richmond, Virginia. Springerville, Arizona. That's my friend Carrie Joy. Brentwood, California. Marjorie. Hi, Marjorie. Elaine. Hi, Elaine from Texas. I'm so excited you're here. Okay, Southern California, Bay Area. Hi, Debbie, Boise, Idaho. Oh, yay, I said it correct. Thanks, Della. <laughs> Canada. Hi, Brenda. Oh, I'm so excited Brenda's here. She just joined my team today. So that was pretty exciting. I got an email in my inbox early this morning that she had decided to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I think she's just planning on doing it as a hobby, which we'll talk about a little bit during the catalog stroll. Oh, hey! I never know. Farida or Patricia? <laughs> Pat, there we go, from North Carolina. I always address her envelopes with, Farida, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I think she goes by Pat most of the time. So, hey, Pat. Westport, Washington. Hey, Ayana. Iona. 
I never remember if it's Iona or Iona. Carrie Joy's on our team, Brenda. So you're meeting our first team member. Carrie Joy is also part of our team. And she's doing amazing on our team. Iona's also on our team. Iona, okay. Iona's also on our team. Yay, I was saying it correctly. Okay, we are going to stroll through these catalogs. They are amazing. Um, every time a new catalog comes out in the last couple years, I've said, oh, this is my favorite one. Oh, this is my favorite one. So I'm going to just quit saying that, I think, because it sounds so, um, like, fake. <laughs> so I'm just going to say these catalogs are great. They really are. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the spring or occasions catalog. It's really hard for me to call it an occasions catalog because to me, I just, it feels like I should just say spring catalog. So um, I'm going to do my best to say occasions. Actually, in our other markets, it is called the spring catalog. So it's kind of funny. All right. So we're going to get started just right with the first pages here, which is a beautiful layout. I love this layout. Fun stuff. And a message from Shelly Gardner, who is the co-founder and um, CEO of Stampin' Up. She's away right now. She's actually on a mission with the Mormon Church. So she's not um, our active CEO. Her daughter Sarah is. And Sarah's brilliant. I really enjoy Sarah. So <clears throat> let's jump into the catalog and look at some of the beautiful products that are available. Uh, we have the It's My Party suite of products. These are so cool and so beautiful and totally my color scheme. I love bright, bold colors. So this immediately caught my eye. One thing I want to point out that I know people are going to have questions about right away is the price of this designer series paper stack. So I'm going to grab it because I really want to show you why it's got a price tag of $26. The reason it's so expensive is because it has 48 sheets of paper. So rather than having, you know, 12 sheets, which is in our normal um, designer series paper stack, I think Stampin' Up! was brilliant in that they produced this huge paper stack that it are these beautiful colors that can be used all the way through summer. And they can be used for lots of different things. So this is the paper stack. So you see it's gigantic. So that's why it's so much more expensive. And I know that we're going to get questions about that. So I just wanted to point that out. It's right there on the first page. And you get four sheets of each. Is that four? Yeah, four sheets of each design. So, for example, I have used some of the papers out of this already. You'll see later. But so this triangle paper you can see there's one two three four well the beauty of that is if you are it's beautiful for two reasons one if you're planning a birthday party and you're making invitations or party favors or something like that you have way more of the exact same paper to use rather than having to um purchase more pack packs so it really does save you money in the end to have this paper. It's great paper. I absolutely love it. Um, and then we just have these really cute punches that could go coordinate with this stamp set. And there is another stamp set that to me it coordinates with, um, but it's it technically doesn't, but it works. So I'll show you that later too. That's a little trick. And then there's a beautiful textured embossing folder here that is like confetti all around the edges and there's a great sample of how they used it here. If you guys have any questions as we're strolling through the catalog, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm not going to take as much time on every single page as I just took on that one, but um, feel free to ask if you have questions about anything you see or uh, how any of the promotions work or anything like that. Okay, so this was another one of my absolute faves in the catalog. It is the um, 
pop-up party thinlet dies. They are so stinking cute. You can see them here. So super cute, so fun. And I have just been having a heyday with these. And I have to tell you, I'm going to show you right now, actually. Um, I am going to be, for my Stamp Lovers Club make and take this month, they get to make a card using um, this thinlet. And so I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've made with this because it, it just knocks your socks off, in my opinion. I love it. Ayana says she's not sure she likes this one. So I want to know what it is about this one that you're not sure that you like, or is it just like an overall, eh, totally unsure. And then I want you to see my samples and see if I can sway you <laughs> to make you decide you like it. Okay, so here's my first sample. I'm going to get the catalog out of the way. This is the card that my Stamp Lovers Club are going to get to make this month. They all are getting the make and take for this card. It's beautiful. It uses that designer series paper that I talked about yesterday. And then it uses this stamp set here that I talked about yesterday that I talked about two minutes ago. Good Lord. Um, it's a little nerve wracking to be live. Just so you guys know, I'm, I, I'm pretty smooth with it, but it's a little nerve wracking and it causes your brain to like do weird things. So I'm using this image here and I stamped it in melon mambo. And then this just unties. And then the wow, of course, is on the inside. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? See, love this. Love, love, love this. So this is the card that my Stamp Lovers Club will get to make. And I'm going to be demonstrating this live tomorrow. So if you can watch tomorrow, then we would love to have you. That'll be at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let me get this tied. Oh, we don't need to tie it back. Okay, here's another one. This isn't tied on the front, but the way, um, <laughs> I love that. Happy Occasions Day and Celebration Day. I love that. Okay, so this goes through here, and then this ties in a bow. And I have to remember, you have to do it this kind of a bow, which is not the kind of bow I'm used to doing, where you make the two bunny ears and then you tuck one through. Everybody ties a bow differently. Well, with this card, you have to tie it this particular way for it to work. And I keep forgetting because that's not my natural way of tying a bow. So, okay. This is how it closes. So I'm just going to open it. You pull out the ribbon and then look at the inside. It's cute. I decorated up the... It's a very plain. I feel like this would be cute for a masculine... Um, birthday. I just cut extra designer series paper down here that matches the inside of the fold. And then I decorated this here by cutting an extra piece and um, adhering it down. And then I've got this little strip here of the designer series paper adhered to the inside just to give it something. So this card's pretty basic. Like there's not a lot of fluff to it. So it's, but it's cute. I really love it. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's this one. This is my personal fave. And I used the Wink Estella pin to glitter this up. And then this is the inside. So I made the happy birthday kind of a two tone. And you'll see videos on how to do some of these cards at a later time. I'll be putting this one specifically, I'll be doing a video on. Okay, so that's a few cards using this set, this bundle. So this is a great bundle to have, super versatile and fun. Um, really, the possibilities are endless as far as what you could do with it. And I'm very excited to see what people who are super duper 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 talented do with this because I'm one of those people that gets an occasional good idea but for the most part I just am a run-of-the-mill kind of girl so and I think that's what most people are it's like you can go on Pinterest you look up some stuff you get a few ideas and then you kind of make it your own that's what I do so if you're like that yay welcome to the club okay so here's the next suite of um, 
products. This is the birthday bouquet. So I will say right up front, I'm not a floral girl. It's just not who I am. I I enjoy florals, and when I see stuff that's floral, I think it's beautiful. But I have a hard time creating with it, and I'm not really sure why. I just do. So um, I love this suite, though, because it has these stinking, adorable honeycomb pop-up embellishments. I mean, these are like the cutest ever. And then this really cool softly falling textured impressions embossing folder carried over. So I was excited about that because that was in the holiday catalog and it's staying in this catalog. And I love that embossing folder. I used it several times during the holidays. Um, I did not get any of this pool party glitter ribbon because I find I have a hard time tying it. So I went ahead and skipped getting that. Um, but I got a ton of these little guys, these little clips. I mean, they are so cute, so cute to embellish with. But I have this stamp set, and I've done a few things with it. Um, I've, it's really fun to color with Copics um, with that stamp. So if you're a Copic coloring type person, you enjoy doing that. This is a great stamp set to play with your Copics. Um, so I had fun with that, and I love these sentiments. I love anything that has a scrolly and then like kind of a block lettering. So that's just my, I just like that. I just like the way it looks. So that's how I feel about that set. Okay, this one, holy smokes. I, when I saw this, I just was like giddy because I love it. I love it, I love it. The possibilities with this set are endless. I wish I still had my top 10 cards for the month of November because I made, hi, um, sorry, I'm seeing people chat in, hello, so I'm just wanting to respond back. Um, so I was sure to make some cards for my top 10 people with this stamp set. And you can actually see those pictures of those cards on my blog. I put them on there, but I already mailed them. So I don't have any to show you. However, I do have this one to show you. This was on my YouTube channel a couple days ago. It is a shaker card. All the shaker bits are like stuck in put. There we go. So it just came out gorgeous. I love it. And look how perfect the numbers are. I mean, they're just fantastic. And then I used that awesome Wink of Stella pin on top of this embellishment, which was so much fun. And then I put glossy accents over the top, or crystal effects. People call it different things. So that was one of the cards that I made. And then I made a bunch of other cards also. But like I said, I already mailed them. So I don't have them here to show you. But you could go to my blog and check those out if you want to. Okay. So this is a fantastic set. I mean... It's super, super versatile. As you can see, we can use it for birthdays. We can use it for anniversaries, um, scrapbooking or project life, the grade. And that's what I think is so cool about what they did here. They did happy birthday grade, again, anniversary. Look who's turning. The number of years the world has been better placed because you're in it. I mean, they gave us, and then the, of course, you know, first, second, number, third, and fourth, the TH and stuff. So they gave us so much stuff to work with here. I just love it. Um, Maxine said, I was uber excited over the numbers until I saw your shaker card the other day. Fearless leader, super cute. So Maxine's also on my team. She's joining us. And so she's saying she really didn't think this was that fabulous. And then she saw my shaker card. Yes, even your house number. You could use this for a stencil. So if you wanted to create a stencil to paint, I mean, really, this stamp set is super versatile. And even when Stampin' Up! Um, like doesn't carry it anymore, I'm going to own it forever. Because it's one of those sets and, and the framelits that you can do so many things with. So, <clears throat> I mean, party decorations especially like an anniversary party. I, yeah, I'm totally excited about this set. I think it's fantastic. Okay, this was probably my very favorite set in the entire catalog because it had a punch that went with it and I love anything that makes my life easier. However, I have it 
and I haven't made a single card with it yet. How funny is that? So it's, I just haven't gotten to it. It's not that I, there's no reason. I just have not gotten to it. So, but I love, love, love this set. I love this too. Like this is something I didn't really notice right away. Let us celebrate is like in the little string for the balloon. So that was really exciting. I love it. Simple, great, just a really versatile happy birthday set. This is a set that I, when I first saw it, I was like, that's kind of weird. And then when I looked at the samples of all the little animals, I mean, shut up. Look at that. That is just the cutest. So I, of course, had to sit down and try my hand at some of these animals. And so I'll show you what I made. So here's one of them. And... This is one of the, so these are kind of copying the samples that are already in the catalog. And then there's this adorable little fella. Sorry, the light's a little glary. Isn't he cute? Just so simple and subtle. I just love it. And then I made this one up. So you guys can tell me if this is creepy. <laughs> I made this thinking to me it looks like a sailboat but I don't know the more I look at it it's like a hot dog gone wrong on a skewer or something maybe I just didn't I was trying to make like a little kid sailboat so this is where my creativity lacks ability right like in my head I saw this totally different so maybe it's the colors I used maybe this needs to be brown and the staff thing, whatever this should be called, should be read. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was going for, like a bath toy. That's exactly, okay, so good. So good. I'm good. I, I don't know. The more I looked at it, I was like, is that weird looking? I don't know. So I'm glad you guys are saying mast. That's the word I was, that's the word I was looking for. Clearly I don't sell. So, um, yeah, so these are the cards I have made so far with that stamp set. And I had one that I did that was a puppy dog, but it was an epic fail. I, I'm not even going to lie to you. It was really bad. I tried. So I just, this is definitely a stamp set, like, that you have to sit and play with and spend some time hanging out with because it's super fun, but you have to have time to sit and create different ideas and, you know, Time is something we all just have super tons of, right? No, it's not. So it's great that they gave so many samples here because I was just able to copy a bunch of the samples and it made it really quick and easy. So that's what I, that's my plan with this stamp set, to copy all those amazing samples. Um, yeah, that's what I thought, Linda. That's exactly, that's exactly. When you first look, you're like, oh, sailboat. Then the longer you look at it, you're like, mm, is it inappropriate? Is it a slightly inappropriate card? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Give it to a little kid and then they don't know the difference. Yeah, maybe it's the color of the boat. So that's probably what it is. Okay, so I got this stamp set. This was fun. I got this stamp set for free from... Um, what event was that? Oh, the live event in San Diego for Stampin' Up! On Stage Live. On Stage Local. That's what it was called. So they gave us this stamp set as our gift, and I have not used it yet. I think it's adorable. I just, again, I just haven't gotten around to using it. So I will. It'll be one of those that I use here soon. And I think it's a fantastic summer stamp set, right? I mean, you have the surfboard and the bug. And for me, for some reason, a bug just always reminds me of summer. So I'm feeling like I'll be cracking that out in the summer, closer to summer. And Valentine's. Of course, Valentine's is upon us. And so we are going to be seeing Valentine's everywhere. So my disclaimer with Valentine's is I don't celebrate it. Not for any religious reason. Not for anything except that I am weird. Okay. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you and I'll tell you the story. Um, it's kind of quick. Basically, I dated this guy for a really long time that was a jerk to me. And 
the only time he was really nice is like my birthday and Valentine's. So, um, I kind of grew to hate Valentine's day. And so when I met my husband, I, we had been dating for a short time and we started dating in the fall. And when it got close to Valentine's, I said to him, I don't celebrate Valentine's day anymore. I don't like it. I don't feel like I have to have one day to say that I love somebody or for somebody to be kind to me or say they love me. I want that all year long. So please don't get me anything for Valentine's day. And he thought that he like scored. I'm telling you guys, I think that's what hooked him, right? He was like, Oh my God. Cause you know, guys struggle with this kind of thing. What to get for Valentine's blah, blah, blah. So we don't celebrate it. We don't give gifts. Um, but now that I have a daughter, um, I really started having different feelings about it because she goes to school and I want her to have the experience. Um, <clears throat> I want her to have the experience that normal people have that aren't jaded and <laughs> which is Valentine's is just fun and it's full of love. So I just, so that's it. So she, so I make little favors for her. So I'll show you. This is going to be on my blog next week. I'm spoiling the surprise. So if you don't want to know, this is a spoiler alert. Don't look. So these will be her favors for her class. I mean, come on. How cute are these? Okay, I'm going to read some comments really quick. Come. It's your birthday today or Valentine's Day? Either way, happy birthday. Um, Trista says already seeing Valentine's stuff in the stores too soon. I agree, Wendy. I don't celebrate Valentine's because I think you should tell people you love them every day. Yep. And Linda says happy birthday. So cute. Yep. Yep. Okay. So Valentine's is your birthday. Yeah. So these are going to be her little favors for her classroom. <clears throat> super simple, super easy. Um, I colored them. I stamped this little bear with uh, memento ink and then I colored him with Copic markers and um, I am taking the uh, Copic marker class right now so I'm kind of into coloring with Copics and so this gave me a perfect opportunity to do that so he this little Hershey is just adhered with glue dots and then I put a little heart right on the top super simple and she can just hand this out to everybody and then I'm I haven't decided yet I think I'll probably make something for the bear to sit on just so she can sign her name to it because otherwise there's no way for her to put her name on it. So I made that. And then this is the other cute little bear guy I made. And I got him a little too dark. But these, this is a little tiny three inch by three inch square. So I'm participating in a swap, a, a three inch square swap with um, my uplines team. And so this is what everyone will get from me. So spoiler alert there. So that's the bear and we'll see that later. So Valentine's, I love this die. I haven't used it yet. Super pretty though. St stamp set. I am, I have used once. I'll show you. All right. This is our other stamp lovers club project. So I don't know if you can see, these are raised hearts. So this will be, and I use the stamp set right here, the love you. And this, um, this is the bags. I don't know how, what they call these. I forget. I'd have to look, but I just glued all these hearts to the bag and tomorrow I will be doing the demonstration on how to make this. So that's one of my fun. Oh, and there's this really cute little suite of products right here. Love blossoms embellishment kit. Super cute. So it's got some gold foil hearts and some other cute stuff. Okay. Um, again, I talked earlier about that. I'm not a super huge floral girl. Um, but I love this. And one of the biggest reasons I got this stamp set is because of the sentiments. 
Um, this sentiment specifically, this is one of my favorite verses from the Bible. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That um, Bible verse has gotten me through some pretty hard times in my life. So when I saw this stamp set, I could have cared less if there was anything else on this whole page, I wanted it just for this Bible verse. But there's tons of other stuff that is really cute on here too. Um, so, and then of course the framelits. I mean, it's just stunning, right? And so I've made some cards using this, but I've already mailed them. So I don't have them to show you. Um, but there'll be lots of stuff you see with this. This is gonna be one of those products that just sells out. So if you want it, I would highly recommend ordering it. Um, I love all the cards you're making and I would love to start stamping, doing quilling now, but I can't get the products in Denmark. I know, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't think we sell in Denmark yet. So, I, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. We don't sell overseas either. Okay. Um, oh, you guys have to get pick this up. So the precision plate came out in our last um, catalog, which I love. I use it all the time. Well, then they released this little Hoobie Hobber. That's right. That's what it's called, a Hoobie Hobber. So it is the best. I've used it several times recently making um, the make and take kits for this card because I had to punch all this stuff out. So all you do is you take the little, you lay your thing right on here, you take the little hooby hobber, which is actually called a dye brush, but in my house it's called a hooby hobber, and then we're just gonna roll it like that over the top of the paper with the dye still on it. And it just punches everything out and all the little punch outs stay right on this, and then I just went dee 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 into the trash. I made that sound every time. Deep, deep, deep. And so then all your little pieces come off in the trash. Fantastic. Yes, I do know we sell in European markets. Um, share, I, I believe it's Share Zoo. Um, so yes, we do sell in European market markets. I know that, but I'm sorry, I don't. Not Denmark yet. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Okay. So that's the info about the Hoobie Hobber. Everybody should own that if you have a big shot. This is on my wish list. I still don't have it, but I'm going to be ordering it because I really, really like it. I love the tall flowers. They're very pretty, and I love the sentiments. Again, notice block lettering with scrolly lettering, so that's my fave. And then I have this set, and I used it to make this guy. So this is something that I try to do often is extend my stamp sets. Um, <laughs> Maxine just wrote in, who be Hobber and DDD is why I chose you to be my fearless leader. That's funny. Yeah, that's, that's real. You should hear how many words that are not in the English language that get used in this house. It's a lot. So, um, I try to extend stamp sets. So this is a perfect example of that. You would never know by looking at this that this was the stamp set that was used. So I obviously just used the clouds from this image and I used these little fellas here and then I masked and I used this part to make my little hill. So I gotta get, take a drink of my coffee. Let's get a drink here. And this framelit set is returning. So this was the hearth and home thinlit dies that were in the holiday catalog and they just created a stamp set to go with it in the spring catalog. So if you're wanting um, to use them, then there you go. Okay, we won't talk about this. This isn't, I don't like this one. It's the only thing in the catalog I don't care for. So there you go. I People are gonna do amazing things with it and make me want it but it's just, it's just not my gig. I don't like it. Okay, moving right along. This is fantabulous. I love this stamp set. Um, 
first of all, I don't know, you got to read all these because you're extraordinary. So there's your Easter sentiment. Uh, little Mr. Right, how cute is that? I it just, I mean, there's so many cute things in this stamp, in this set. I love it. Although I will say always with the mother, I don't call my mom mother. Does anyone else call their mom mother? The, and listen, it's not just stamping up. All companies do this. Every stamp company does the mother thing. I don't call my mom mother. Does that, does that, is that just me? I don't know. I mean, if I'm being silly, I might be like mother, but that's a joke. That's not what I call. I wouldn't put it on a card, but anyway, so I can just go my amazing, right? And then I can stamp whatever I want because I have letter stamps or I could use this. My amazing guy, my amazing Mr. Right. Hello, masking people. We can mask. Okay, this stamp set immediately hit the top of my list because it had the word welcome and team because I have a Stampin' Up! team. And so when I saw this stamp set, I was all over it, like white on rice, baby. I needed it. So I'll show you my welcome cards. Now, Brenda, who's joining us, um, she has joined my team. Oh, Catherine says, I always call my mother, mother. I am, I also called grandmother as well, not grandma. Wish more things came with the word grandmother. That's a good point, Catherine. Um, not a lot of stuff says grandmother. You're right. Yeah, I don't know. I just never called my mom mother. I would call her mom, mama, um, Peely. That's her nickname. So um, you don't like the penmanship on this one. I do. I really like it. Um, so I'm going to show you a card that I made. So I, what I was saying is Brenda joined my team this morning. She's on here now. And... She's going to get a spoiler. So Brenda, if you don't want to see the card that you're going to get in the mail, I, I'm going to tell you to avert your eyes. So close your eyeballs. Um, and I am going to also talk a little bit about what that means to join my team real quick. So, cause people have some major, um, they think things that aren't true are true. And so I gotta talk, I gotta talk about it. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. So Brenda's had time to avert her eyes. So this is the card I made for all my new team members that are joining my team during celebration because I've had a few emails of people saying they're going to join. So it says welcome on the front and then to the team. And I know you're thinking, oh, that is just the perfect spray. I don't know how she got that. Look at that perfect like burst. Hello, sunburst right here. It's a die. How awesome is that? So yeah, this is like my fave, fave, fave. I love this stamp set because I've always wanted a, a stamp set that would be like, welcome to, welcome to the team, welcome to the street, welcome to, I don't know. Oh, welcome back um, to the team. <laughs> uh, I have some people that come back and visit us. It's wonderful. Um, welcome baby. Welcome home. Welcome to another year. I mean, this is just the best stamp set. I love it. I love it. So I made these cards up for new team members. So I'm going to talk about that really quick. If you um, are interested in purchasing Stampin' Up! products, and again, this is for United States only, because I can't have someone on my team that's not in the United States. Uh, so if you're in the United States and you're interested in purchasing Stampin' Up! product, the very best way to do it, the best deal for your money, is to purchase the Stampin' Up! starter kit. Because during celebration, which is from January 5th to March 31st, you can get $155 on product, but only pay $99 plus shipping. I'm, I'm sorry, plus tax, shipping is free. So um, 
it's $99 plus tax. Now it depends on what the tax percentage is in your area, but for like California, it would be a hunt like or Northern California where I live, it would be a hundred about $107 in order to become a demonstrator. So what does that mean? So on my team, I have two types of demonstrators. I have a business demonstrator and I have a hobby demonstrator. A business demonstrator just means that you are pursuing orders in some fashion. Either you have a friend that puts in orders with you, or you want to do classes and workshops, or you're pursuing it online, or you're just saying, hey, I'm here and I'll take an order. A hobby demonstrator is somebody that simply wants the discount on the product. They want to enjoy all the fun stuff that happens on the team, like the weekly giveaways that we do, and um, just being part of our stamping community, we share lots of ideas, lots of fun things, we have lots of laughs, we really are like a family. I mean, I feel that way. And some of my team members are on here so they can um, testify, let me get an amen, let me hear you testify about our team, we have a great team. So um, anyway, so that's that. So you pay $99 plus tax, your shipping is free, and you get to choose $155 in product. So that's more than they've ever given. That's basically $56 in free product. $56 in free product. So um, think about it. If you're interested, email me. If you have questions, email me, wendy.cranford at live.com. Okay, so this is my new, this is my welcome card for my team members that are gonna be joining. Um, here in the next month or so it during solo the beginning of celebration i mean i'll make other welcome cards so you may not get this exact one or you might so i've made up a few of these so brenda's getting this one because i've made six of these so the first six people will get this one <laughs> okay so i used that die i'm going to show it to you really quick and this will be a video on my blog on friday on how i made this card but i'm just going to show you really quick i used this die which is huge. This die is really big. I'll show you. It's way bigger than the card. So that's lovely. And so I have masking paper here. So I was just able to create masks and create that card. So you can look on my blog on Friday or on my YouTube channel and you'll see how to make that card. Okay, let's move on. Botanical Garden Suite is adorable. It's been out for a while. Um, for demonstrators, we've been able to purchase it for a while. So it's really, really pretty, super versatile. You'll be able to do tons of stuff with this. I've already made a bunch of stuff with it. Um, so yeah, it's a fun, fun set. I can't wait to see what people do with it. This one I think is really sweet and cute. Um, it's really not my style per se, but I can totally see making some great masculine cards with it. And this image is this the sweetest, so I love that. Love this one, haven't picked it up yet. Um, I have to kind of spread my orders out because, you know, I mean, let's face it, I could get carried away. So this is on my list, it's on my to-do list, <laughs> basically. But I love this right here, how they used this image to make it look like the coffee cup stained the paper. So cute. Okay, this paper is fantastic. It's like shimmery on one side. I'm gonna pull it out and show it to you. Um, ugh, if I can get it out, there we go. All right, so it's shimmery and then the back is not. It's matte finish. So I just love this paper. It's going to be so popular and so fun. I really, really leave it. Love it. And it's great for masculine cards and great for everything. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. Really good for making tags and boxes. It's a heavy craft paper. So you're going to like that one. And then this is just a fun stamp set to go along with it. Project Life. Um, I do Project Life on my phone on an app. So I don't use our pro oh no, this isn't Project Life, sorry. Brain, brain fade, sorry about that. These are our kits. Um, I saw the little things and I thought, Project Life. Um, you're so lovely, Project Kit and Enjoy the Little Things Project Kit. Both of these are on my list to get. I have not ordered them yet, but I am going to order them, especially this one's my fave. 
Um, it's got this cute little easel that kind of looks like a chalkboard and you can put stuff up. So cute. And I thought it would be such a cute gift too. You could give this as a gift either just the kit itself and give it as a gift for someone to make or you could make the whole thing and give it as a gift. That would be awesome too. All right, this is one of my top faves. I absolutely love it. Haven't made anything with it yet. Have it. Waiting to make stuff with it. I really, really love it. Um, it, the possibilities are absolutely endless, obviously, and who doesn't love tea and coffee? So most people drink one or the other or both in my case, both this, we're just gonna, I, it's no, mm -mm, I, it's not, I'm not a fan. I just don't. Here's the deal. This is a creepy sentiment to me. I'm sorry. I absolutely love you stamping up. I love you, but this sentiment weirds me out. Okay, so um, we'll skip past that. This is a really cool stamp set for the generation stamping or two-step stamping, or in this case, three-step. It's beautiful. So really gorgeous things are going to be made with this stamp set. Um, I love the hummingbird in it. It's just gorgeous, and it's so lifelike. I mean, we have tons of hummingbirds here, and so... Um, I'm excited to use this set and I want to use the, the, I specifically want to use the hummingbird to make cards for a friend of mine. Um, we have this older couple that lives down the road from us and my husband works for them sometimes doing odd jobs here and there because they have two sons, but they live far away and they just don't have the physical ability to do some of the stuff that they used to do. So she has hummingbird feeders hanging all over her porch. I mean, it's like everywhere. Um, and so I want to comment really quick. You guys are talking about the kindred, kindred spirits sentiment. I is, I love this actually. It's one of the only, if I could just get that sentiment out of this, I would, because I have a cousin who I feel that way about. This is the sentiment that I think is weird. I have loved you mother since I opened my eyes. It's, it just feels a little ooky to me, like creepy kind of. I don't know. So it's just me. It's a me thing. Okay? It's just me. So anyway, back to my hummingbird story. So we have these neighbors, and she feeds all these hummingbirds. And she makes like six quarts of hummingbird food a day and hangs it on her back porch. So for Christmas, I got her these little bitty handheld hummingbird feeders. They're so cute. So I can't wait to go with my daughter and use those um, out at her house. They're just such a fun couple, older couple to visit with. They're in their 70s, like I said, and they're just, they're just so sweet. They're such a blessing to us. We just absolutely adore them. Um, love, love, love this stamp set. This constellation is just uh, so cute. Um, favorite, I, I would have to say, hands down, favorite Valentine stamp set I've ever seen. And it's just the sweetest. I mean, and you don't have to just use it for Valentine's. Like, I'm lost without you. I can use that so many ways because... I have family and friends and my husband. I feel that way about a lot of people. I am I am lost without people. I am a people person. And so I definitely feel that way. Um, and I think my lucky stars for you. How cute is that on top of Anyway, I could go on and on. Just the cutest set. I love it. Love the paper. I love everything about this suite. And here we have my sweet little bears. They're so cute. I just love them. And I showed you the stuff before. I'll show you again really quick in case you just joined. Um, but these are two of the things I've made with the bears. I am going to be making lots more bear stuff because it's got a fish and it's got this cute little hat and bow tie and it's adorable. And it says, wishing you a day full of sunshine and a lake full of fish. Okay, this is the best like stamp set for my husband every time it's like Stampin' Up! creates one stamp set that's great for my husband and I really appreciate that that's just so kind of them thinking of me that way so um I actually got this for free 
I won it in a prize patrol at a Stampin' Up! event, so that was super exciting. And so then all I had to do was purchase the framelits, so that was fun. And then the Sweet Sayings, again, amazing, amazing, amazing set. I love this set. Um, they have the block uh, letters with some of the script letters, and then there's this awesome brush lettering here. Just fantastic. I love it. So I have this one. Going to be using it a lot. Oh, now we're to Project Life. So I'm just going to tell you, um, if you want to know about Project Life and you want to know about Stampin' Up! Project Life specifically, you've got to check out my friend Katina Martinez at Loving Life's Little Blessings because she's the Project Life queen and she does tons of Project Life stuff. Um, so I'm not the gal for Project Life because I just don't, I do it on my app, on my phone. So I don't do it physically because I just have too many irons in the fire. But I love it. I think it's beautiful and I want to do it. I just haven't figured out how to fit it in yet. So that's why I do it on my phone because I can be sitting anywhere doing it on my phone. I literally squealed at the top of my lungs when I saw this. I freaked out. And Katina, who I just talked about, texted me and was like, I know you're all over this stamp set. Yes, I am. This is the cutest stinking stamp set and framelit set ever. Yeah, I'm going to say it ever because it is, I just freaked out when I saw this. I'm like, I am all over this. It, it's so me. It is so me. So I'm super excited. I haven't used it yet. Again, I mean, it's just been like, you know, the holidays, it's just so hard to use stuff, right? Okay, this is a really cute set. I have these. I love that this carried over from the holiday catalog. So we're able to use these together. And this one I did not pick up. It's cute. I just, it's just wasn't on my list yet. I'll probably get it. It's cute. Um, and then these are all our carried over products. So yay about that. Okay. So I want to talk about two things really quick. Um, paper pumpkin has a promotion right now. If you purchase a three month prescript prescription, it is a prescription. If you need some craft in time, <laughs> um, if you, if you order a three month subscription right now, you can get it for $55. So that saves you $4 and 85 cents total. Um, and you get it for three months. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is one of the host stamp sets. Super cute. I love the brush lettering. And it's called Love You So. All right. So, and this is a friend. This is a friend of mine. I know her. How fun is that? Okay. So I'm going to show you the celebration stuff. What is Celebration? If you're new to Stampin' Up, you've not heard about this promotion before. Every year, Stampin' Up runs this cool promotion where every $50 you spend, you get a free item out of this catalog. You get to choose a free item out of this catalog. That's one of the ways is shopping. You can join, which I've already talked about. You get to choose $155 in product for $99. That's just during Celebration. So you're basically getting $56 in free product by purchasing the starter kit. Saves you a bunch of money if you're wanting to order a lot. You can have a party or place at your own large order. If your order is over $250, you're going to get $25 more in Stampin' Rewards. So for example, let's say you spent exactly $20, exactly $250 yourself. You put in your own $250 order. People do it. So you would get $25 in your regular rewards plus another $25. So you get $50 in free product. And then the percentages just goes up from there. Okay. So that's that. And then here's some of the beautiful products. Now, some of these products, the products on pages four through 15 are going to be available all the way to March 31st. The products at the end of the book, pages 16 to 19 are only available until February 15th. So if you don't get those free products by February 15th, you're out of luck. You won't get them. So I'm going to show you all the products real quick. We're going to do this fast, fast. This is the best stamp set ever, right? Just for you. 
because you're so nice, because you're awesome on your special day. It's just so pretty. And I love the samples they've done here with the botanical gardens. And then there's this gorgeous botanical gardens vellum that you can get for free. Now, remember, this stuff is all free. You can't purchase this stuff. You only get it free with purchase. This is such a sweet stamp set. I love it. It's that three-step stamping. Really cute samples done here to show you how they work. This is some fun Project Life stuff, and I actually got this because it has a bunch of acetate windows. Um, well, that's how I look at them, acetate windows, because I want to make shaker cards with them. So this is the cutest set here. You really got to pick it up. It's super cute. You can totally use it for card making, and I will be. Okay, so this is the best. I, I this is just a great, super fun, super simple, to the point, covers all occasions kind of stamp set. Great stamp set to have. This one's really sweet, flowering fields. Very sweet. Um, Going to make great cards and great tags for summer. Uh, for birthdays. It's just super, super sweet and simple. I just love it. Um, if you join as a hobbyist, do you get all the catalogs, etc.? Yes, that just automatically comes in the stamp in the starter kit. When you get the starter kit, you just automatically get a business package. Um, if you don't want the catalogs, I would recommend that you just take your write your name and your phone number or your name and your email address on the back of them and just set them out places or give them away to friends. That way, just on the off chance that somebody wanted to order something, then you would get you would have somebody to order from you, which is kind of cool. So even if you weren't pursuing it as a business. So that's my suggestion to get rid of those things if you don't want them sitting in your house would just be to utilize them quickly. I mean, there's only eight of them. They only send you eight of each. Okay. So, um, this one is one of my absolute favorites. I, <laughs> that little chicken is to die for people. I mean, don't you just want to, you just want to hold it, pat it. I just, I just want to cuddle it, snuggle it. That's how I feel about that chicken. This is such a cute, um, stamp set and so vintage super cute for uh man's masculine birthdays and stuff really really sweet and then it's got the happy birthday and the kind of valentiney thing so that's great yeah i would love for you to join with me linda and you don't want to miss out it's going to be such a great opportunity and so much fun we really have so much fun on our team if you have more questions, feel free to email me at wendy.cranford at live.com. Okay, this is our, the last one in the catalog, or in the celebration catalog, and it is my favorite in the catalog, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I could go back and forth between this one and the chicken. Um, but super fun and beautiful, and I, I, my plan is to get it. I have it. I have the hello, but I'm also planning on getting that one that says bonjour. So that's fun, um, so that I have both of those sentiments. So if you want any of these sentiments in French, they're available. This one's available in French also. And it'll tell you right here, available in French. So this one comes in clear and wood mount, and then you can also get it in French. So this stamp set, this stamp set, these two, yeah. These two stamp sets are only available until February 15th. So if you want either of these stamp sets, you need to make sure that you place your $50 order or more and choose these ones as your sets for free before February 15th. Otherwise, you'll be out of luck. That would be a major bummer risky. Okay, so there's the catalogs. How fun was that? Okay, we're going to do a giveaway. I got to go grab it, and I'm going to bring it in here. I'll be right back. Okay, 
here's the scoop. Let me get these out of the way. This is what I'm giving away. I have the Hearts and Stars decorative masks. A simply created kit. This is a retired product. It's called a little something something, but I love these kits and I have a few of them. And so I'm going to give one of these away. A little sampler pack of botanical garden paper and I believe it has yeah, it's just the botanical garden paper. It's a little sample. Baker's twine, Bermuda Bay Baker's twine, and iced rhinestones. How fun is that? So all you have to do to be entered to win is place an order with me sometime this week. If you place an order with me sometime this week, you will be entered to win this product and I it doesn't matter how much the order is it doesn't matter if it's ten dollars fifty dollars doesn't matter so I am um, anybody who places an order with me this week by Sunday will be entered to win these products and my team members are going to be entered to win the same thing so the because I know the people that are on my team are on here going oh man that's a bummer because I don't order from Wendy. I order for myself with a discount. So how's that going to work? So the, how that works is that I'm just going to double it. So we're just people that are on my team that are watching this that are totally bummed out. They'll also be entered to win the exact same thing. And I'll do a drawing at the end of the week for them also and post that on our team Facebook group. So real quick before I leave you, I just want to fill you in on um, if you are on our team, you get to be on our team Facebook group. We do giveaways, just like I just talked about. Um, uh, Letitia said, if you join the stamp club, would that qualify for the giveaway? Um, you know what? Yeah. I'll do a giveaway for stamp club, too. We'll do three. Why not? That's fun. So I'll do three. So place an order with me this week. You're entered. I'll do a giveaway at the end of the week for stamp club members. If you were interested in my stamp club, you can check that out um, on my blog at levinstampin.com. And that's, um, oh, if you need catalogs, Marjorie, just email me or contact me through my website and I'll send them to you. Um, no problem. And I'd love to be your new demonstrator. So we'll do three of these. So one is for anybody who places an order with me this week by Sunday any amount. I don't care the amount. Two will be my team members. I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway of these exact same products to my team. And three is I'll do another giveaway on my Stamp Lovers Club. So that's perfect. Okay. So um, on my team, I just, what I wanted to say was um, the coolest thing about being on my team is this, that we have this fun community of friends we share information, we share ideas. Sometimes we share what's going on in our lives and ask each other for, you know, advice. And it's just such a fun team. I just love our team. It's so fun. And it's not gigantic and huge um, to where it's impersonal. And that's what I love about it. Um, I, in fact, I don't know that I want a gigantic and huge team that I can't be connected with. I like, I like that we are connected. And so, um, we have a lot of fun and we have this little thing that pops up once a week on our Facebook group swiper, you, you know, swiper from Dora. You might not know if you don't have kids, but he's this little weaselly boxy type guy and he pops it up every once in a while and he grabs somebody's, um, card idea and gives them a prize for stealing their idea. So it's fun. Um, no, you don't get to pick two items from the celebration catalog when you join. Um, that they did that last year and they actually got a really sour response from that people because they did that instead of giving you extra free product. So, um, that's, they, that's not something they do anymore. They're not doing this year, but they upped the amount in free product you get. So, you get $56 in product 
for free, basically. You pay 99 and then you get to choose $155 in product. So that's 56 bucks in free stuff, basically. And you get free shipping on your kit. You only pay sales tax. So yeah, we are gonna, I, I just know I'm gonna have new team members during celebration and I'm so excited about that. It's always a new, fresh pouring in of new, new ideas and folks and fun stuff. Um, oh, okay. So Stampin' in NS, uh, <laughs> she, she, her name, so she has offered to help teach me how to do some watercolor stuff. But because your name on here on YouTube, I didn't connect who you were. So I'm glad you told me. <laughs> Hi. So, oh, perfect, Marjorie. I'll get that. I'll get catalogs out to you. And you can also view the catalogs online. So if you're watching this and you're in, you've enjoyed what you've seen, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm currently less than 400 people away from hitting $10,000. $10,000. I wish 10,000 YouTube subscribers. And when I hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers, boy, I am going to have a party. I am doing a huge giveaway. So, um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also sign up for my free email tutorials and, and just, I send out emails so that you can stay up to date on things going on with Stampin' Up! Plus, um, information about tutorials and things that we do like that. Um, so make sure you sign up for my email list too over on my blog. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. Do you have any questions, comments, or thoughts? I've always wanted to visit Maine. I see you guys talking about that you're in Maine or that you visit. You're welcome, Letitia. Okay, well, thank you all so much for joining me. It was a pleasure hanging out with you today. And um, I am going to let you all go. And I'm excited about celebration and occasions. And if you have any questions or you need any help, please feel free to contact me. And Linda, I'll be looking forward to talking to you about joining our team and anyone else. Um, thanks, Della. I appreciate that you watch and hang out. So that does my heart just as much joy. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.